Now, in all the examples that we have seen so far, example 1, example 2, and example 3, all the questions involve proper fractions. Okay? Proper fractions into partial fractions. So now we have a very good idea of how to change a proper fraction into partial fractions. Okay? Based on example 1, 2, and 3 that we have just gone through. So that begs the question. How about improper fractions? I mean, how are you going to do improper fractions then? I mean, we haven't seen any examples. Right now, the best way to learn this is through an example. So, we shall put in example 4. Ah, here we go. Now, this is example 4. We're going to change this fraction into partial fractions, just as what we have been doing so far. The only difference now is that, well, this is the first example that we have an improper fraction. Okay, now the numerator, the degree of the numerator is 2 because it's a quadratic expression at the numerator. The degree of the denominator is 2 as well because it is also a quadratic expression at the denominator. So this is improper. So what is the... so now what? What are we going to do? Okay, now the first thing that we do when we deal with improper fraction is to make it proper. Okay, how are we going to change an improper fraction into proper? Well, we do the same way as what we do for, uh, you know, let's say 5 over 3. I mean, how do we change 5 over 3 into proper fraction? Well, 5 over 3 is simply a 1 and 2 thirds, isn't it? Okay, so this is precisely what we are going to do, except that now it is in polynomials. So how are we going to do the do, do, do the change, you know, change this improper fractions into proper fractions. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do long division. Alright, so we're going to have negative 12x squared plus 15x minus 1 divided by negative 6x squared plus 8x minus 2. Okay, so uh, something multiplied by negative 6 will give me a negative 12, so that something has to be a positive 2, right? So positive 2 multiplied by negative 6 will give me negative 12x squared, okay? And 2 multiplied by 8x will give me a positive 16x, and of course a minus 4 here, alright? So it's a minus, this will give me a negative x, and here will give me a positive 3 as the remainder. So, now after doing this long division, we know that, hey, you know, that this improper fraction, okay, can be expressed as a mixed fraction, okay, the quotient, right, plus the remainder divided by the divisor. Alright, okay, so here we have now a proper fraction that we can work on. So now that this question becomes simpler because this is something that we have been doing so far because we know that we can change a proper fraction into, imp uh, into partial fractions, right? So what we do next is of course we factorize the denominator. So 3 minus x over um, this will give us a uh, well we can take out the 2 first and uh, 1 minus x and uh, 3x minus 1 okay so I suppose we need a little bit more space so let's scroll all the way up yeah okay great so as we have done okay uh, as we have done earlier on all right we know that this fraction here can now be expressed into a sum of two simpler fractions like this. Okay, and then uh, this is b and then it's 3x minus 1. Alright, now of course what is left to do next is of course to find our a and b. Now this is where things may get a little bit confusing and uh, therefore uh, very easily you know you can make a mistake here. So, what I always suggest my students to do is to pretend that this part here is a partial fractions question on its own. Meaning to say, you, you, you don't really care about the two here. You don't really care about what's on the left hand side anymore. You just take this 
fraction out, this proper fraction out, okay, and do a partial fraction for this fraction, okay? So, in short, what, we, what I mean is that to pretend that this fraction, okay, is a question on its own, and we're going to do a partial fraction for this fraction, okay? So, we will draw this out to do by the side. Okay, actually there's no need to be by the side, but I mean, okay, just do it, do it on its own. Okay, so of course uh, what we have learned earlier on is the same thing. Okay, we will flatten it by cross, mu uh, I mean, multiplying throughout. So we have A multiplied by 3X minus 1 plus B multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 minus X. Okay, and of course I suppose you know what to do from here. I mean, the things becoming very familiar. Okay, so we substitute in x equals to 1, we get rid of the b, and we will find out that a is equal to 1. Okay, you can actually uh, work it out, pause this video and work it out. Okay, and we substitute in when x equals to 1 third. Okay, we will get uh, b is equal to 2. Okay, likewise again, you can pause this and work it out, verify the answer. Alright, now, now that we have got our a and b, now what have we have found out? Well, what we have found out is that you know this fraction here 3 minus x over 2 1 minus x 3 minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 1 minus x plus 2 over 3x minus 1 so this is what we have found out but is this our final answer well of course not right so this is not our final answer why not because Right, let's scroll back to take a look early on. Alright, yeah, here we go. Because this is the question that's given to us. Okay, we are supposed to change this into a partial fraction. And we know that this is improper, so we change it into a mixed fraction, a proper fraction. Okay, and then we find that well, it is a little bit confusing to work this out to multiply throughout, uh, you, you know, for this equation like this. So what we do is we, we, we took this part out to do a partial fraction on its own and therefore what we have gotten here okay the answer here is for this part all right and therefore our final answer okay we should write okay let me copy just the question one more time because it is you know being scrolled away already so you can't really tell you can't really see okay but this was the original question Okay, and after we change it to mixed fraction, we got a 2 as a quotient, and we have this, right? So now what we do is, we will, okay, substitute, alright, or change the proper fraction into the partial fraction. So this will be the solution, okay, the final answer for this partial fraction questions.